it's hot and sunny today in Charlotte, 90 degrees. Today is Thursday, June 4th, 2020, and I finally have my doors done. I want to start off by saying that this is a mod. I took this project on myself. This is not part of the normal Bearhawk build kit. This is not part of the quick build kit. I decided that I wanted gullwing doors and I had to make a lot of modifications to make that work. This project took me about three months, probably longer. So I added quite a bit of time to the build, which I'm not real happy about, but I think ultimately I got the doors that I wanted. So again, this is not part of the standard Bearhawk kit. This is a mod that I took on myself. To do this mod, several things needed to happen. I needed to raise the threshold. I decided to go three inches. I know some may have been able to do it in less than three inches. The idea is that this strut attachment fitting demonstrates the angle of the strut up to the wing. I wanted to make sure that the door cleared the strut. Three inches is probably more than necessary. So with the raised threshold, this cap is actually carbon fiber. In order to use the piano hinge to attach these doors, this tube needed to be squared off. So this is 4130 chrome molly. It's squared off on three sides. I will use a Cherry Max rivet, permanent rivet, to ultimately install this hinge. If necessary, the door can be removed as these flush mount screws can detach the door from the hinge. I use .063 aluminum as strike plates for where the receivers are on the door formers and that's a 3 8 hole with a nylon cover. The receiver on the front is basically just a fair lead that I cut into the hole and it allows the push rod to slide in easily. The frame for the door is carbon fiber. This is the flush mount latch. Big flat head rivets with neoprene washers underneath. So quite a bit of fabrication was required to build these doors. I'll go and take you now and show you how I made the carbon fiber for the framework and the flush mounted latch used for these doors. So the frames on the doors are made out of carbon fiber. It's uh, essentially a rectangle that I made out of two channels. One is slightly smaller than the other. The basis for these channels come from these aluminum pieces. Uh, one is a square tube and one is a channel. Uh, the, the face of this one is three quarters of an inch on all three sides, or actually all four sides and the face of this one is 5 eighths. I took those channels and created these fixtures for my layup. The first layer is Kevlar, the next three layers or the next three plies is carbon fiber. channel here that fits right inside one fits right inside the other. These now become a single piece by using a 3M scotch weld. It's a 3M epoxy adhesive 190. It's called a DP 190. Once I applied the glue then I used rivets about every five inches, steel rivets. Inside the channels I also put some 025 aluminum and that's going to be for my rivets to give them something to bite into. The final result is two pieces of channel, three plies of, of carbon, one ply of Kevlar, one on top of the other, glued in place with a structural adhesive, and rivets about every five inches to make it one integrated piece. And it's very strong. I mean, it is as tough as can be. Here is the completed door frame. This is just the outside perimeter. In each corner, I made carbon fiber gussets out of five plies of carbon and used stainless steel rivets to hold them in place. So we've got, we've got a gusset here, here, all the way around, and I'll tell you what, this is super strong. 
and once the Lexan is on top of here, this will be a pretty solid integrated door, uh, very lightweight. Uh, I've also installed the hinge on top so far. This is what it'll look like when the Lexan is installed. Again, I'm still going to run a cross member through here that'll have my latching mechanism. There'll be two rods that'll go each direction that'll work off of a crank system to pull those rods in and out, locking itself into the door frame. So this is my first pass at building door frames for my gullwing doors. I used the original steel frames that came with the Bearhawk kit and I just welded them together, shortened the tubes down here at the bottom since I raised the door frame up. What was important to me with these doors is that they would be lockable and I had a really tough time finding a handle or a system that would do that. Uh, I came up with a crude method for it. I, I found these Jeep handles. There is a lock set in here. Um, but with all the steel that I've got here, I've welded a bracket in, I've got these steel rods in here. Um, I've got about eight pounds of door right here. So let's compare the two door frames and see how much they weigh. I got seven and three quarter pounds, 1.94 pounds. Of course, I don't have my latching mechanism on here like I do on the steel doors. So let's give that another pound and give this total frame weight of about three pounds. Compared to seven and three quarters, I'd say that's a hell of a weight savings. The door handles I will be using on the Gullwing doors are from Hendrix Manufacturing. These are a flush mount, uh, lockable door, latch. I created this housing for the latching system so that it could be attached to the inside of my carbon fiber door frames. What you get from Hendrix Manufacturing is this piece here. Of course, this is lockable. And the only thing I've really added to this is a handle so that from the inside it'll just be an easy pull up to release the gullwing door and then latches back in place. These joggles will be situated like this in the locked position and then in the open position the linkages will be perpendicular to the latching arm. So I have added a cross member to the door frame, giving it more structural integrity and strength, as well as a location for the door latching system. Again, I use gussets on each side of this cross member to secure it in place and to give it a lot of strength. The door latch system will mount to the bottom of this cross member. So with that in place, I can then install the push rods that will actually lock the door to the door frame.